And we're back with another episode of Gamer Flavor. Um, about to get inside this theater and shoot Jesse in the face, and then we'll find out what's gonna happen from there. Lights are on. Still with me, Lev? Yes. I don't get Lev killed. Keep looking. It was bad enough that Yara died. And she was right about their mom, too. Yeah. She said that she'll try and, you know, choke Lev out with her bare hands or... I'm sure Yara dying makes Lev much less <laughs> cautious about things. You think it makes Lev less cautious that her mom died? No, that Yara died. That Yara died. She doesn't... Uh, or he doesn't care as much about um, living because his right. sister's dead. Right. Okay. Grab that ladder. Mm. Ready? Still not happy, but it's not the same thing. Yeah, I mean, Abby's. Abby's Abby. I don't. She's not exactly very warm or loving. She's a beast, though. If somebody messes with Lev, Abby will come in there and beat them to death with her bare hands. She sounds pretty certain that it's uh, Tommy and not um, Ellie. Isaac's dead. They Isaac is dead. They just said it over the radio. Nice. Careful. Stay close. Well, that's good. Good thing this is thick carpet, because normally she stomps around like a T-Rex. Do you think they're down there looking at a glass of water that's just rippling? Like, oh, Abby's coming. Mm-hmm. Where are you? Mistake. Don't fucking turn around. Love, keep your bow on him. Get on the ground. You gonna kill me like a coward? You 
killed my friends. We let you both live. And you wasted it! Wait! Get off of her! Watch the exits, don't let her leave. I supposed to try to sneak up on her? I mean... Come on out! I'm really not sure what I should be doing. Do you have any weapons? Doesn't appear so. Maybe there's something in this room. Could be. Get to Dina. <laughs> Use her as a hostage. I'm sure Ellie thinks she's such a good person. I don't think she really cares. In this world, it doesn't really matter, I guess. I mean, it does, but. It does matter in this world. It matters in, in this world more than our current world. Who you kill. I know you're in here. Yeah, I guess try and sneak up on her again, but try and hit her and then run. Oh, I see. You saw it? Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha 
Yeah. <laughs> that is what would happen. <laughs> Don't attack Ellie head on. <laughs> He's like the uh, rapey guy from the first game. You get too close, you're dead. From you, all right. I learned it from you. <laughs> uh, <where coughs> am I? Fucking! You're not gonna win this fight, Ellie. Unless Dina shows up. That pregnant drop kicks me. <clears throat> Oh, there she is. 
like she's got another roll of Oh. Ooh, good touch. Okay, don't attack her head on. I thought it might say it again, it would have been funny. <laughs> Tried to save Ellie and then got fucked. Yeah. <laughs> She said, good. <laughs> she would feel that way. Oh. Is this the house Dina wanted? Is the baby? And did she miscarry? This is Ellie holding Joel's watch. And no, I guess the baby made it. That means Dina made it. Yeah. At least up until delivering the baby. Hey, buddy. What's wrong? Oh, I got you. Yeah, it's okay. We're good. How much time has gone by? It's not a lot, right? I At least a year? Well, if this baby's like, I don't know, a few months old? Probably six months to a year, I'm guessing. It's more than six months. Who's that handsome fellow, huh? Isn't Dina he... wasn't that pregnant, so I'm guessing this has been a year. Yeah. A year to like a year and a half. Oh, wow. Hey, you like these guys, huh? <laughs> they got some crazy hair. This baby will die. Everybody's gonna die. <laughs> I mean, like, why would they end it with this happening? Dina! Thing? I'm in the kitchen! Say hi to your Auntie Talia. Hi, Auntie Talia. This this has probably been two years since baby's talking. 
No, that was her talking for the baby. Oh, okay. <laughs> I am cold. Man, tough crowd. I guess these are incense for the poops. What do you think Abby's doing? Abby? Trying to live her life, I guess. You want some fresh air? <sighs> I wonder where they are. Probably back in Wyoming, somewhere near. But not near the, but not in Jackson. Probably not. What if this is just a dream? Oh, what's up, you little goobers? I'd be interested. Hey. Thanks for doing the dishes. You can thank me by putting on some music. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. My dear Dina, thank you for your letter and the photograph. JJ's gotten so big already. He's got Jesse's smile. If he's anything like his dad, if he's anything like his dad, well, good luck. I can't wait to see you. Uh, I can't wait to visit you. My back has been acting up again, but I'm on the mend. The doctor still thinks I need a few more weeks of rest. As soon as I can, I will be there. I appreciate the tender words in your letter. I will say what I hope is obvious. Jesse wouldn't blame you for what happened, and neither do any of us. We love you. You are part of our family. Be well. There will always be a place for you, Ellie, and JJ back in Jackson, should you ever change your mind. Love, Robin. Some tunes. Ah, oh, you want a boogie, huh? Did they find a record? <laughs> All right. Especially one like this that doesn't require electricity. I don't know. I mean, probably on the way back. <laughs> Stop by oh, a shop. Oh fuck yeah! I love this song. Your mom is very easy to please. I'm with you. My bar is very low. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> Ooh, look at those moves. These moves? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, look at mama go. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Ooh. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of working on me. You're weird. I'm aware. Okay. Okay, <laughs> you're distracting me. No. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Go. Okay. <laughs> oh, hey. I think I left Ollie outside. You mind bringing him back in? Yeah, sure thing. I was expecting one of them to die during that spot. I am just like Where is on he? the edge. Pretty sure he's thing. on the tractor. I keep thinking there's just no reason for things to be happy in this world. You wouldn't be wrong. Ollie, what are you doing out here? Hello. Hang on, buddy. Yeah, there we go. It's pretty right. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna 
and teach you how to play guitar when your hands are bigger and you're not pooping your pants all the time. It's all right. Everybody does it. <laughs> Where do you get diapers? Where do you get these like a cloth? I have a lot of stories to tell you when you're older. <sighs> Much older. But we should go check on Mama. What if Addy killed Dina now? <laughs> you know, if you like go back after in. After the baby was born. She waited. She's like, you said she was pregnant. <laughs> oh, there's a thing in the tree. Yeah, that'd be funny. Well, not funny. Dark. Mm. Hey, let's get you on here. <clears throat> official. I'm going to go hang up the laundry. Oh, oh my back. You got that? Yeah, I got it. So they have sheep and or lamb, whatever, and they have vegetables. We've got plenty of meat. Does he need his jacket? No, he's fine. I guess they're growing potatoes. Mm. I saw squash. More? You can tell me to stop. Should I stop? Okay, enough. Seriously? <laughs> what are you supposed to do? Just explore what happened to them, I guess. It's kind of an epilogue. You want to pet him? There you go. Oh, 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 gentle, gentle, gentle. Just like that. There you go. Yeah. Hey. Hey. I'll take him. Can you get the sheep into the barn? Oh, I got him. I can do it. Yeah? Yeah. Don't you rest it up? <laughs> okay. Here. Come on. Put you in there. Don't stay out too long. We still need the bat. Shh. I'm like the herding master. Listen up, sheep. Your dinner awaits you in the barn. So come on. Snowy. Barn time. Daisy. Head on in. Wow. That's a lot of sheep. How many do you think that is? Let's count. One, two. Better stop, because I'm getting sleepy. Eugene, 
Hey, hey, inside, inside. Todd, move it or lose it. <sighs> we definitely have way too many sheep. Hey, what do you say we eat some of them? Tasty snack. You warm enough, buddy? Your sheep taste Just good? a few more. I don't know. I got one for you. What's the quietest animal on a farm? A sheep. When you're older, you're gonna have a deep appreciation for these jokes. Okay, guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Hey, how'd you get out? excitement in a while. Wash your face in that. It's still water. It's a petri dish. There's no way they built this fence. This must have been here. Yeah. You're not getting all this done in two years. You might get the sheep you know, populating. They probably had some help when they left Jackson. Somebody help huh. get them set up? Yeah. Makes sense. Maybe when their son is old enough, they would send him to Jackson to get a trade or to... Hey, you. Who are you here with? Experience a community of some kind. Oh, whose horse is this? But oh, she didn't recognize it? She said, who are you here with? Hey, where you been? Hunting. Took a little longer than I thought. Who's here? Uh, just come inside. She's gonna freak out. Oh. <laughs> Ow. Well, that's quite a bit you got there. Hey, Tommy. There what? you are. 
I thought he was shot in the head. Let me take him. Come here, bud. Oh, yeah. Go. Here. Oh, I got it. I got it. Hey. Hey. <laughs> it's good to see you. Mm, you too. Think she got him in the back. You're getting heavy. No, <laughs> just a big ball of muscle. Hmm? <laughs> Sounds good. This might Are you be... good? Oh, she's fine. A dream. We uh. We're taking some time apart. Hmm. Sorry. No. Nah. We talked about it a lot, and uh, yeah, that's what we both want. So. <clears throat> okay. Come sit. Oh, he's got so one show eye closed. Yeah. So I guess I did get him in the head, just didn't kill him. So I've been putting out feelers for months now. And this new guy heard my story. He told me about a woman that he traded with while he was moving through California. Described her as built like an ox, traveling with a kid with scars across his face. He said they're living along this coast in a beach sailboat right here. Leave it alone, Tommy. That's got to be her. We're done with that, so. It's easy. Forget about her. You sitting all comfy way out here? Hey. I'll make her pay. Tommy. That's what you said when we got back to Jackson. Tommy. What a joke. Can you take him, please? Yeah. She made yeah. the right call. I got you. I got you. Hey, what the fuck was that? Nothing. God damn it, Tommy, you know what we've been through. Oh, say it. She made me a promise. I don't fucking care. I know you don't, That's your goddamn promise. still go after her. She shouldn't, though. It you doesn't know. make sense to. Abby spared them. Yeah. Abby Twice. Had, Abby won. There's no reason to go after this girl. She's this going girl. after her. She's wrong if she does. Ugh. Whatever. If she does, I hope she dies from it because it's a bad decision and people who make bad decisions, that's not fair. They don't deserve death. Everyone makes bad choices, but to be given so many chances to make a correct decision. And for so many people to get hurt because of her decision. It's just not right. One? Yeah, this one is. Happened again. Got rid of the images pretty quickly, but my skin hurt the rest of the morning. I gave up trying to go back to sleep. Dina stayed up with me. When will this stop? I don't know how Dina talks so easily about Jesse. She kills 
all she tells JJ all about him. She thinks it'd be good for me to talk about Joel to get it out. When she says that, it makes the memory sound like food poisoning. I don't want to talk about it. It's just going to hurt. And I think once I thought, I wouldn't be able to stop. Took JJ down a ride today. He laughed the whole time. I almost didn't think about Seattle all day. It was nice. Jess's parents came out today. It was nice at first. They're good people. But then they started pushing for us to move back to Jackson. I couldn't handle it and left for the woods. I didn't come back until late at night. Dinner stayed up for me. I could tell she was mad, but she grabbed my hand and led me to bum. I feel so guilty. It happened again. I was hunting this boar and had cornered it in this old gas station. It was bleeding out, screaming. It sounded like him. Then I couldn't get the images out of my head. I left it there dying. My skin hurts. When does it get quiet? Time was supposed to suffocate the urge, suffocate the desire, extinguish? Extinguish the desire. Haunted by your stare, smiles, the mask keeps getting heavier, sliding off my face, and step forward, two steps back. There's a noose around my neck, and the further I get, the tighter, it's harder and harder to breathe. Can I find a way to cut the rope, cord? I've been waiting for dawn, but the light is all gone. I've lost the light, don't know if I'm already blind. Can I leave it all behind? Yeah, that's good. I thought that was a doll for a minute. It freaked me out. <laughs> Uh-oh. Kissed by a rose on the ground. No? Okay. I woke up in the morning about half past nine. The hacks in the bug is standing on the line. Jason getting ready to stand your ground. Taking little city to the world. Yeah, that's what happened. I hate these things. Tell me about it. Your old man really laid into me today. What happened? Another big lecture about my patrols. Don't go here, don't go there. It's funny how involved he gets whenever you're scheduled to go out. Yeah. She's, uh, it's been on quite the show. I give you guys two weeks until you're back together. Not gonna happen. She, uh, say something to you? <laughs> Make it one week. Ellie! Hey! What took you so long? Well, I'm here, aren't I? Dina? Hey, Jesse. Hey, don't forget, we're heading out early, so get some rest. Yes, sir. You're such a dick. Come on. Why don't you start with me? Okay, I have a very serious question for you. How bad do I smell? Like a hot 
pile of garbage. Oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> How about that? Gross. <laughs> you love it. Every guy in this room is staring at you right now. Maybe they're staring at you. They're not. Maybe they're jealous of you. I'm just a girl, not a threat. Family event. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Remember next time there's kids around. <laughs> yeah, like you're setting such a great example. Oh, just what this town needs. Another loudmouth dyke. The fuck did you just say? Ellie, hey. Ellie, don't. Get the hell out of here. Get your hands off me. Hey! Enough. For a walk. What about them? You worry about yourself. Let's get you some fresh air. You all right, kiddo? What is wrong with you? He had no right. And you do? I don't need your fucking help, Joel. Right. Was that the last interaction they had together? I don't know. I think it was, and I think that's why she's leaving. Why is she so torn by it? <clears throat> hey. since he slept this long, huh? He had a day. Yeah. He's fine. Go back to bed. We'll talk about it in the morning, okay? I have to finish it. You don't owe Tommy anything. I don't sleep. I don't need him. I'm not like you, Dina. What? You think this is easy? For you and for him, I deal with it. I love you. Prove it. Stay. So what? I'm just supposed to, to sit here and wait for you? For God knows how long? Just thinking you're fucking dead the entire time? I don't plan on dying. Yeah, well, neither did Jesse. Or Joel. Hey, stop. Hey. Hey. Come on. We've got a family. She doesn't get to be more important than that. No. I'm not going to do this again. That's up to you. I don't know. 
understand that choice. Is this setting up for the third game, or is it... I have a feeling that they're going to do a third game, because, like, the story... 24, 25, Constance. Yeah, I have a feeling... 24, 25, Constance. Okay, Constance. Uh, now I just need... Oh, I checked this street a week ago. I can't believe you traded a pistol for this. It's a lead. No way that guy saw fireflies over here. Stop. I feel good about this. Well, I don't. Two years gone by. Twenty-four. You're so mad 10. at Ellie. Yeah. It's not gonna be on that side. It's all evens. Wait, what was the number again? 24-12? That's weird graffiti. Oh, Does that no. mean fireflies? No. Nothing I recognize, at least. Hey, something's out there. track her Good. and the people at the wolf base the Isaac's people so. yeah yes you did keep your guard up just go back to finding that house mm -hmm. 24 25 24 25 what can you um do you have a bat can you open your bag Pretty low here. <laughs> All right, Jerry. If the fireflies are still out there, yeah. What do you think they're up to? I don't know. The goal was always to restore society. I mean, there's all sorts of ways to go about it. a strange place to find a resistance group. We had all sorts of outposts. Big and small. Best way to hide from the army. What's an army? <laughs> 24, 29. Too far. Let's see. Wonder what she'll find. This place looks abandoned. Keep searching. We painted the indoors to look like the outdoors, but plants don't look like that. It's more like a a child's dream version of the outdoors. In the old world, it'd be common for them to decorate kids' rooms like this. My dad painted a a colorful jungle for me. Oh. I would have loved that. I bet you would have.
Ellie would love this room. Locked. Maybe there's another way in? Are you being positive? I'm trying to be helpful. You're always helpful. So she's apparently bonded pretty well with Lev over the years. She's apparently bonded pretty well with Lev over the years. 24, 25 constants. This is the place. Yeah. Okay, but there's nothing here. We don't... Hey, what would state was this? Yet. Oh, Santa Barbara, California. Okay. I really didn't think that the game was going to continue this long. I didn't either. Or to this point, I mean. I mean, the Abby Ellie confrontation oh, no. had to have been the climax, right? Yeah, this is the falling action. I think we're done here. Oh, In here. You find something? <laughs> Scratches. <laughs> Scooch. steady supply of food anymore. She doesn't have a weight machine. Right. Hello? Nice little underground base. I don't like it. It's been a while since anyone's been here. Unfortunately, I have to agree with you. Anyone? But what about anything? See that sweet door opening action. So Next gen. So fluid. Pretty nice barracks, all things considered. Yeah. They were here for a while. That's the shower, right? Mm -hmm. Guess they've got solar. Is this frequency currently in use? This is... Do you see a call sign anywhere? Oh, a what? It's a short list of numbers and letters. Hmm. Okay. This is Abby from Santa Barbara. Can anyone hear me? Standing by. Is anyone out there? What's this? Are frequencies. Is this frequency currently in use? 
This is Abby from Santa Barbara. Is anyone out there? Are these other Firefly outposts? I don't know. Can anyone hear me? Hello? Is this frequency currently in use? This is Abby from Santa Barbara. Hello. She's just broadcasting Hello. where she is so many places. It's so stupid. Ellie's gonna pop up on there. Is this frequency currently in use? Hello, this is Abby from Santa Barbara. Can anyone hear me? If anyone can hear me, please reply. Please answer. signal on you. Where in Santa Barbara are you calling from? Um, 24, 25 Constance. Uh, we got a tip about a base, but there's no one here. That's We're looking terrible. for fireflies. I'm a, I'm a firefly. Where were you stationed? That's Tom. I was part of the Salt Lake outpost. Who ran that facility? Dr. Jerry Anderson. He was my dad. Well, how about that? We pulled everyone back from the satellite stations and brought them back here to home base. How many of you are there? Four or five. Two hundred strong now, with a few more every month. This is right. up. You're about to get two more. How do we find you? Get to Catalina Island. Approach the large domed building in Avalon. We'll find you. Okay. Okay, we'll see you soon. Over and out. Looking forward to it. Good luck, Abby from Santa Barbara. Over and out. Come on, let's get back to the sailboat. Ellie's gonna be here. Tommy's gonna be. Someone's about okay. to kill this bitch. Fine. You were right. Uh, what was that? Why do you make me repeat whenever I'm wrong? Because it makes me feel better. And because it happens so rarely. She's gonna rescue Abby. I don't know. I don't know where they'll take the story in the third one. It would be. Where did you go from here? It might not be over. 
There might just be a bit more story. Two four two five constants. Yeah, that's gotta be it. Dixie National Forest. A couple hunters tried to jump me. Didn't go well for them. I just got to the outskirts of Las Vegas. I can hear the infected from here. Must be thousands still alive inside the walls. What a nightmare. I'm gonna go around. Palmdale, California. So I'm hiding out in the basement, hoping the horde passes by. Miss you, potato. Still in this fucking basement. The batteries in my flashlight are almost done. The dark is fucking with me. I keep seeing him smelling iron. I miss Dina. I miss Potato. What am I doing here? I got out. The horn got distracted by a group of travelers. Some of them didn't make it. Two of the bodies were kids. I'm devouring them. Oh, wrong way. Hang on. Okay. Made it to the coast finally. It's gorgeous. Flowers everywhere. There's this thick morning glare. Doesn't seem like the military ever came through. Maybe it was too spread out. I wish Dana could see this. She'd lose her shit. I like the sound of the waves. Heading down the coast. Haven't seen people in a few days. Or intact cell bouts. What if Tommy was wrong? What if they're not here anymore? I can't think about that. Nice. Maybe. This took a really hard punch to the chin. Then hit into a uh, garage door by a grown dude. Yeah. Vince is a. How long before that disappeared off the line? I don't know. I was just thinking, they, they seem to do it a lot. Yeah, they, This looks promising. Yeah, I'm full. No, I mean, like, would, would the character get there and start doing it if you started to? Oh, no. Won't let you do it. <laughs> Left her beautiful situation in yeah. Wyoming. Like, the best you can get. Yeah. In this world. I can't believe it. She... I mean, does she think the PTSD will go away? Does she think she'll stop seeing Joel if she kills this woman? I don't know if she uh, is going to kill her. It might, what else would she do traveling this whole way? She might thank her. She might save her. Like, mm. because, I mean, she didn't say she wanted to kill her. She said she was going to finish it. Here we go. Maybe she it was enough to change, change her mind, the act of decency that she didn't have. I don't know. I don't see that, the way okay. Ellie's been behaving this whole time. 
I think she's got too much Joel in her. I think she's going to try and kill this person. I don't know, because, I mean, she used the whole pregnant thing, right? She, she knows did. She killed a pregnant woman. She didn't so, mean to. I don't think she would have no if she one. knew she were pregnant. Right, exactly, Mesa which Bluff. is why she said it. I'm here, and Santa Barbara proper is... Although, uh, her response, Abby's response to that was good. <laughs> and she was about to slit her throat she before was. Lev said something. That was intense. I did not, I did not expect that. I didn't think it was going to stop her, but I didn't think she was going to say good. Like, oh yeah, two for one. Well, it was more like all's fair kind of thing. Oh yeah, like you did this to Mel, so. Yeah. yeah. Another one. I don't want my arrow back. Oh. I know I told you I'd wait here for you, but it's not safe. Rattlers are all around those. Through, are all through these woods. I can't risk getting chained up again. I'll be in that place where I told you that ping pong ball joke. I miss your laugh. I hope you got out okay. Ping pong so tired from all the cardio in this world. Yeah, just unnecessary. Right, you could be hurting sheep, Ellie. What are you even?
This bow is excellent. <laughs> I mean, they're just in Santa Barbara, California. So I imagine there must be someone who is abuela and also a zombie. Uh, I just picked up a card. Oh. oh, here it is. Oh. CVB 73. From Mars, the latest in a long line of synthetic warriors, the CBB-73 was designed to fight battles deemed too dangerous or cruel for humans. But when the Future Alliance captured one on Titan, their scientists used it to test their latest AI ethics technology. Now a trusted ally, CBB is willing to take point on all the Future Alliance's dangerous missions, always reminding them, I am reliable and expendable. But in times of high tension, CBB struggles not to slip back into its original function as a killing machine. Reminds me of uh, that robot from Mandalorian. Oh yeah, that was a good show. Can't wait for uh, what season three? Two. Two. Yeah, the, that was just the first season. She wants, well, I don't know, that line could mean so many things. Yeah, everything being ambiguous lets you know that I get out of here. Which means it may not be the obvious one. 
it might be that they both went to look for her at some point and now she's not willing to do it again hmm. not that she's willing to wait for Ellie to go and look or something I don't know what it could be it's hard to say he's a very ambiguous If you want to know the truth about what is happening between Abby and Ellie, <laughs> the answer is simple. You simply play the game as both Abby and Ellie. Can you go upstairs? Can you That's where I came from. Yeah. So this is not a house. This is like a restaurant. Is it? What is that? Maybe it's just a rich person's house. I guess. There's some pictures on the wall. Or there were, not those. It's in the room you just left. Maybe it's a... Uh, yeah, I think it's just a nice house. It's so big. I know, right? That's good. Where am I? There's gotta be a street around here. Okay. Santa Barbara's downhill. 25 Constance. How did she get that lead? She found the sailboat along the beach in Santa Barbara. She knew what city, then she went to the beach knowing it was a sailboat from Tommy, who had heard from someone who had traded with Abby uh, that she was over there. And she had also been broadcasting it. Okay. Well, then she um, had that address written down in the sailboat. She's a bit trusting. Abby? She mm -hmm. has to be done. I guess she figured she beat the shit out of Ellie enough that she wouldn't come back. No, I was thinking about her thinking about the fireflies. Oh. It's been so long. It's been over four years, over five years since uh, the fireflies were as big. Yeah. <laughs> One. The other one was like right around. Closer. Yeah. Maybe it fell. I don't know. Oh well. How do these things survive without food? Do they need food? I don't know. Why do they attack humans unless they need sustenance? Yeah. Kidding me? Uh, 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 
stayed at home. Oh, no. oh, come on. How are you gonna do a sit up or a crunch whenever you just got stabbed in the gut too? Just bleed out. <laughs> really? Oh. She's still alive. It's Abby and Lev? No. It's Abby. Me. I found you. I found you. No, it's See? not. We got a lot. Why? Uh. This bitch is fucked up. Uh. Ah. Uh. I'd be lucky if she lasts a month. Uh, can we please just say we're done for the day? Yeah. yeah get that thing down. Let's reset the trash. Really, man? I mean, is she even worth the trip back? It's not like. Oh, fuck! Uh, no, 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 no. I'm good. It did scratch him. Did it? Yeah. <laughs> Something funny? Looks like you shit your pants. Fuck you say. You little bitch. <laughs> oh, you, you like funny, huh? Get up. Yeah. Come on. Get up. We don't she need no shit. Fuck up right. anyway, man. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny, right? Yeah. It's funny. Seriously. Yeah. Yes. Wait, 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 you said Abby. You're looking for an Abby, right? We picked one up uh, a couple months ago. No. Yeah, sure. Oh, no, big girl. A blonde, arms like mine. Hmm. She had a, a scrawny kid with cuts by his mouth. Yeah, yeah, that's her. You let me go. I'll tell you where she is. You can get to her before that infection takes over. Talk. She's in a holding cell at our camp. Where is that? Head that way till you hit the railroad track. That'll lead you to a resort. We keep him in the tall, round building. Oh. I swear. Resort. Tall round building. Oh, girl, we need to eat a sandwich. <laughs> she Fuck. said that she hasn't been eating. Over here! Hey, <laughs> we'll go back. Is that a gun? He's got I a gun! Go back. God damn it! Shit! Did he get a gun? Tell the others to search the area. Make sure he has it. Where are the others? Oh, that was a nice gun. It's a shame I had to use it up on them. I don't know. That was a good. Uh, it was a good quick way to finish that. Got you. You're 
Dead, you hear me? you want if you make the character that you're about to kill beg. I mean, you know, <laughs> this is a brutal game. No, I'm just thinking, I'm just playing out what happened. It's like, please, hey, 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 hey. And you're like, ah, silent machine, submachine gun weapon. Can you imagine how people in the 90s would have reacted when a game like this came out? Like the way they acted over With Mortal Kombat? Mortal Kombat, yeah. This would... Joe Lieberman? I don't even know. Like, this this game would probably get panned in the 90s because... Oh, yeah. It's way too progressive. Not only that, but it's... It's, uh... It's so realistic. Like, if you, if you had these graphics back in the 90s, when all of this stuff is happening, people would be like, oh my god. You know, Witch! <laughs> They'd start burning people. Well, it would be something for sure. Yeah, they would overreact, I'm sure. It's been a really good game, though. Like, it's it's been engrossing. And gross. It's very gross. Engrossingly gross. She's being extra quiet. Hunting wabbit. Ooh. Loud. Never mind what so I said. I was about to say, so which is it? There's something on the floor to your left. Good eye. This place has a lot of provisions. Yeah. Uh, that means you know there's a group around. Yeah. What is this place? It's like a train station. I don't know. Luggage carts? Like it's gotta be something. Or a hotel. It might be a, a hotel. resort. A resort, that's what it was. And you're supposed to be heading towards a dome shaped building. Uh oh, up top. Where? There's someone up there, on the bridge. On the bridge? Yeah, I thought, I'm pretty sure I saw someone up there. I don't see anybody. Okay. He's wearing a helmet. You think that'll protect him? From a gunshot? Maybe. Definitely try to. If you've got me like at gunpoint or at knife, a knife to my throat, I might say whatever. But. Just point to something in the room that you want me to fuck and I'll fuck it. I mean, it's either that or. 
or immediately get killed, like like what right. just happened, you know? I guess the longer you can stall your death, the better chances you have of surviving the Somebody encounter. could come along, I mean... Yeah, anything can happen. Probably dead, but probably, you, you but, decrease yeah. that probability a little. This one? Yeah. Uh, it's not fresh. Oh, it's it's not equal a... to what I have. Oh. I, I really should have grabbed it, it and used it, but. right over here, I thought. Maybe the dog uh, melted. Police? Oh, it's just a bulletproof vest. It's going a bulletproof hoodie. cover her head. Mm. I'm a little slow, you see. I think I came from here, right? And then I ran out this way. Mm. They said it was train tracks that lead to a building? These are train tracks. There's the rattler symbol. Everybody's got their little club. Probably more than just this one. Because she wrote something down whenever you were going down. <laughs> Fuck all these groups. You know, it's funny. Okay. Tracks to the resort.
I could take him. Let's move! Oh, God. That looks like a tall, round building. I promised him I'd do this to him. This is such an awful dumb hobby. Bet you wish you didn't try to escape now, don't you, Anthony? I could shoot that chain and get him freed out. Get up. No. Worth a try. an armor. That one is not. 
There you are! There I am. I think that's everybody. And then I was like, that doesn't These really work so much. Fucks. But they are rounding people up and enslaving them probably for slave labor and you know turning them into zombies. Well, they were talking to one person about Just them being a zombie, laughing about it because he tried to escape. So I'm guessing they keep people as prisoners and we tried to turn torture them. Into him, but she doesn't have to worry about that. Right. Also, I think why she killed that guy was because he saw. I think she killed him because he was willing to kill her. That's fair. I really think she wasn't... Uh... That's a good enough reason, I'd say. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Am I gonna find Abby dead? That's gonna be it. I don't think so. That'd be a pretty lame ending. <laughs> the washroom dryer. So this isn't a house either. This no, this is, is like... definitely a resort. Yeah. 
There's a good place to hold that. Yeah. Lots of amenities. Probably decent security. She's so ungrateful. Ungrateful? Of all the stuff that people have sacrificed for, for Ellie specifically. Yeah. And then she decides to just do this. Yes. I guess she doesn't really know anyone. They all chose to make their own decisions. Like guard dogs, they make a bunch of noise. Ah! Oh! Think it came from over there. Ah! Run away, right there. Pick your fucking head up and see what happens. Sell it. You only get one death, better make it a good one.
All right, be careful. Oh no, they got. Oh, oh wait. She killed Sarda. Check the perimeter. We gotta stop her. Not Marta. Nice. How often do you find those? Oh, there's two. Oh yeah, that's the way to go, I think. Oh, is it? I'm 
so bothered by her. Bother, bother, bother. Sending along some extra beef, grapefruit, and potatoes, I just thought. They've been impressed with how many strays I've captured and wanted to reward me. We're seeing the best crop we've had since we settled here. Please make sure my mom gets fatty cuts. She looked too skinny last time I saw her. Pat. They kind of built him up and. What the heck's going on here? We're under attack! Come on, down. let's go! Huh? Yeah. Bring on that uh, shelf to the left. Oh, but there's a person over there. Two. I see three, four. Plus a guy. Or a zombie. Guy. Watch your back. You okay, Pete?
to is this way. Within the rattlesnake's lair. to escape. She's down in the pillars. The pillars? Head down to the beach. You won't miss it. She's probably already dead. Similarity between Ellie and Abby is they both have nightmares about the person they cared about being killed. Yeah. Wonder if Lev's okay. Mm. Mm. I would hope Dina would have moved back with her parents, you know? Yeah, that'd be the thing to do. You can't take care of a baby by yourself in this world. <laughs> Maybe that's just my opinion, man. Well, that's deep. Seems like a bad idea, too. This bitch is gonna die. This place is done. You're welcome. I wonder who the people she saved are. It's really good that that guy kept his sanity, huh? Yeah. If I were her, I'd be wrapping up that hand so people didn't know. Just tell them it's a cut. Oh, yeah. Did you notice that her arm's not wrapped anymore? Oh, yeah. yeah, I did. The pillars, this is what you were, you were talking about. Yeah, this is what happens to people who try to escape. I wonder if love is on. That's Abby in the middle. Abby? No, clearly not. That's her. See the braid? Oh, yeah. That's the point. Is love alive? Is that love? Yeah. I think so. It means he was alive, you never. <gasps> Is that Abby? I think it is. Maybe you have to cut her down. Oh.
have and Fortitude. Right? The fact that she has the strength to to do what she's doing. She man, they really got her good, you know? That she uh that they were able to cut off her bone to her brain. Right? That's her source of power. Yeah, it was, it was. There are two people, but only one set of footprints because she carried him. They're gonna both die over the ridge. Think so? Somebody's gonna shoot her right now? Not right now. No. When she's over the ridge. Or maybe she'll just die over the ridge. Something. (sighs) Nope. Looks like she's still. I can't let you leave. I'm not doing this.
Chigame. I guess she was able to remember a better memory with him? No. It doesn't excuse anything. I'm no. glad she lost her finger. Me too. <laughs> I hope that she never teaches the child to play guitar. And I hope it's lost to them forever. But the child? No, the ability to enjoy live music. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I hope you lose the ability to enjoy live music. <laughs> Records, okay. But I mean, nothing live. I mean, she can't stop her from just moving the needle and stuff. But now yeah. she's... Oh, right, she can't play guitar. I see what you mean. I thought it was an oddly specific punishment for this crime. Uh, <laughs> and kind of mild. It's, it's all in the details. Yeah. <laughs> Is it over? Is the cycle of vengeance complete? I... I hope Dina doesn't take her back. I hope Dina doesn't take her back as well. Oh, those wings. Didn't she get those from Joel? I don't care. She sucks. She sucks as a character. I liked her much more in the first game. Yeah. And I don't think she really deserves the happiness that she, that could be waiting for her right now. I don't think that there is, though. I think she's going to come back and find Dina dead, and she could have saved her. I think it's just going to be empty. Yeah, she left. Why would she stay here by herself? Just taking a shoot. Huh? Looking like a methed out Winona, Winona Ryder. Is that That's... regular Winona Ryder? <laughs> Be nice to Winona. She left her stuff there for her, though. Yeah. It's nice for her to put it all in one room and out of the line of sight of the window. That's true. I bet she tries to play guitar and she can't because she's missing her fingers. 
Let's see, if she plays like every other person and it's her left move, yeah, she, there's no way she can play anymore. Well, you were right. You got what you wanted. Well, I didn't want it. I want well, I wanted it to for proper storytelling. But She's so stupid. She went through all of that trouble. She crossed the country again from north to south, and then back, and she didn't even accomplish what she was trying to do. She just lost her fingers. Stupid. Yeah, so ridiculous. She lost her fingers and her happy ending. But I guess she saved, what's her name? Abby? Mm. Yeah, Abby would be dead if she hadn't come along, probably. Definitely. Unless those prisoners went down to the pillar to save the people who were at the pillar. They only got saved because she showed up. Oh, you're right. Yeah. I don't know what I was thinking. through last week. Oh. A little embarrassed as to what I had to trade to get it, but it's not bad. I had Seth under control. Yeah, I know. And you need to stop harassing Jesse about my patrols. Dana, is she your girlfriend? No. <laughs> no, she, that was just one kiss. It doesn't mean anything. She just, I don't know why she did that. But you do like her. Idea what that girl's intentions are, but but I do know that she would be lucky to have you. You're such an asshole. I'm not trying to. I was supposed to die in that hospital. My life would have fucking mattered. But you took that from me. <sighs> if somehow the Lord gave me a second chance at that moment, I would do it all over again. I think I can ever forgive you for that. But I would like to try. 
try. I like that. She can't use it. Yeah. I'm glad she and Joel started to reconcile there before he died. And I can see why she wanted vengeance for him now. say I, I think the ending was unsatisfying but I enjoyed the story the story was very compelling um, yeah I did not like that Ellie decided to go back out for vengeance I felt like if Joel were still alive he probably wouldn't want that and Joel was an older person like in this world he had a decently long life <laughs> yeah like, he did. Just especially with all of the violence that followed him. Right, I mean and Joel would have wanted her to live a happy life and his her going out and killing Abby wouldn't have you know, brought him back or really given her any ease, I don't think. Any kind of peace. So now did she go back and tell Tommy that she didn't go through with killing her? But that she had the opportunity to, like, I I don't see her going back to Jackson because I don't think she's gonna want. Dina to. wouldn't take her back. Yeah, I don't think Dina's. I think Dina's done with her, and I understand why. Yeah, and who knows how long that trip actually took? And I don't think she would want to go see Tommy after this. You know, definitely. Like it's just. And I imagine the city would just be too painful for her. All that's there is, you know, Joel's empty house, maybe someone taking it, because why wouldn't they? Dina's, uh, you know, a relationship she lost. Um, Tommy is a reminder of what she didn't do for, you know, like she's going to go somewhere else. The baby would be a reminder of Jesse. Right. Like, like the whole thing is just, Jackson's done for her, I'm sure. I wonder if they do make a third one, and I'm sure they will, if this, because this one was hugely successful and sold millions of copies, like, I think four million copies within the first week. Yeah. Um, if this one uh, is successful enough, and it sounds like it will be, then they'll probably make a third, and I wonder what, what it'll be about, because I, I don't know if she'll... I mean, if this... This game was an exploration of what the cycle of vengeance is actually like. You know, what 
what all <coughs> could have been avoided, what all, and all of this was for that one little girl. So she gets to have this life that Joel wanted for her, but to what <coughs> she now has, has to survive in a hellscape alone. Right. If she had left it where she was with Dina, that was like, that was a happy ending. She could have had that. She could have had a family. She could have played guitar to remember Joel and like worked through her trauma. It's not like going out and going to kill Abby and then deciding not to kill her. It's, Abby. I don't see how that gets you through your trauma, you know? It, it really does put Ellie in a horrible light. Yeah. Just Abby was done. She was just done. We saw her. We saw her path very clearly. And uh, but Ellie didn't. You know, Ellie didn't see anything about her story, her growth. She just saw a person who beat someone she loved to death. Shot like, someone painfully, else she cared for. Shot someone else she cared for. Who shot to be someone a good else, person. but that one didn't die. Right, tried to kill him, and then beat her half to death, nearly slit Dina's throat. Like, Dude, Abby was a beast. Abby was a beast. I can't believe how they, her life was super sad and fun. Yeah, Abby's was, yeah. And they did make me ultimately, I didn't want to see Abby get killed by the end there. I finally empathized with her because she... Once she got captured and, and they strung her up like they did? Put her up on the pillar? No, it was, the turning point for me was when she uh, finally decided not to kill out of vengeance. It took... It took Lev do, stopping it, though. Like, she was, she was about to kill to. Dina. Yeah, she was ready to. But... She was straight up going to consciously kill a pregnant person but she and finally, being feel good about it. She finally let it go, though. And when she did, that was when I was like, okay, this person can be reached. Yeah. It just, it, it took, took a, a lot, lot for a her lot. to get to that point. I don't even think it was really Lev as much as... Well, I mean, Lev was what snapped her back to it, but I think uh, ultimately it was the fact that Owen died. You think o so? Owen was done. Owen was like, I don't want to do this anymore. I want to yeah. leave. And what's her name was done. Mel, Mel was done. She was like, we're going. We don't want to be part of this anymore. We're done. And Abby didn't accept that. They... They didn't give her up either. That's what got me. It was like, even after, you know, everything that happened between all of them, and as much as Mel hated her, like, they died not giving her up. Part of it, too, was that he was trying to stop, you know, Mel from getting killed. When the gun was pointed at her, he, he went for it. But... Really, uh, Ellie... As much as I want to say Ellie is, uh... Merciful, she's not really. There's a lot of she had a lot of opportunities to to spare people and she did it. Well, the game tries to present it as a life or death, I gotta choose me over you situation for her often. But there were enough examples of her having a chance to uh, choose not to. Ellie's 19 at the beginning. So she's probably like 21 or so by this point, so five years after the first excellent as Joel in the first game and he was uh, he was really good in uh, Bioshock Infinite but he's got he's 
got a way of pulling me in. The guy who does my previous voice did all these little singing. Oh, cool. There's so many teams here. They keep here. mentioned that it was high noon somewhere. Yeah. That'd be funny. No, he's actually been doing a whole bunch of voice work. That guy's getting really popular. What were you saying about Joel? The voice actor. Was just oh, Joel Baker. Yeah. yeah. All of them were good. I mean, whatever issues I have with the story, the voice acting, and the... The, whole, the game itself is very well done. It's, yeah. It's all very well done. The story is, is actually a good story if it, can, if it brought you to a point where you can consider and think about what they're trying to talk about and what they're trying to... You know. I, I'd give the game an 8 out of 10, and the only reason it's not a 10 is because... I wasn't satisfied with what happened with Ellie's character. It's not that it was a bad story or an unrealistic story. It's that it, they took a character that I liked and empathized with and made me less empathizing towards her and or have less empathy for her. And then they took a character I had no empathy for at the beginning in um, Abby Maybe and that's made it to where... To which, if that was their goal, kudos, because... You know, it worked pretty well. When I first met Abby, I was like, oh, well, she's just like... Maybe they were trying to take away the disillusion that Ellie was this uh, angelic character who was uh, taken in, taken hostage by Joel's uh, affection. And in this game, she gets to make her own choices, and they're just as bad. And right, because of she's... That, she also a complicated character who does make mistakes and chooses to act emotionally and irrationally and you know without mercy and yeah there's a lot of that this it was so merciless well by the end of it too like i it was like why does she have to do this she sees what it's all come down to yeah. She's, she saw what became of Abby, and she still is like, I gotta kill you. I'm like, do you really, though? I guess she just couldn't let go <clears throat> that this person she loved and had forgiven for lying to her and killing all these people to save her life. Like, she, he died in such an awful way. Like, that was a hell of a way to kill somebody. I guess. I think... Really? Well, okay, so I, I think all of the, the the deaths in this game are pretty brutal. Yeah, I mean, that's that's something else to be said. Just because these people weren't important to her, does that mean their deaths that she caused were any less yeah, awful? she's up here having nightmares about Joel, but she doesn't have, like, a second thought about the woman she turned into a creature, you know? When did she do that? The one that you are forced to beat her. Oh, right. Yeah. She didn't have any nightmares beat about her. that. Yeah, she beat her the same way Abby beat Joel. She and didn't give a shit. Like, I, I really don't feel for Ellie. So, I think a large part of this game is this idea... I'm just a poor, wayfaring stranger She also Traveling loved. through this world of world. Couldn't get this visual out of her. Right. She is no saw, sickness, like, they showed no it to us, toil, what she was no seeing every danger, time, yeah. and how it was affecting her, right? In that bright, um, Abby, to so which I thing. go, yeah, with the because hallway. of Joel, right, and they were the same character, essentially, to see and maybe that's why mother. Ellie eventually she changed her mind, was it? Maybe she was like, you're just like me, but I don't understand you. Like, clearly this woman, she's willing to fight Ellie to the death just so Ellie wouldn't kill this other person who was being tortured just like she had been. Yeah, and she was like, I'm not going to fight you. I just want to leave. Right. And, you know, it was they were kind of even. Ellie saved her life. She had spared her twice now. Like... It was time to just. I thought. I thought what was gonna happen was they were gonna get in their boat, and she was gonna, she was gonna get, get hers, and they were just gonna go. Yeah. But no, Ellie couldn't let it go, and she had to cut this bitch up and almost drown her. 
It's just it's like, like she didn't really have to. No. So. Beauteous fields lie so, just before me. You remember the end of the last game? Where the first God's one, redeemed. Where he's driving off with Ellie. She's what, 14 keep. years old. And I'm going there he's like, he tells her, you know, father, there was no cure. They couldn't make a cure. I'm they had plenty of other there. people outside of you to work with, but it didn't no matter. They couldn't make the medical vaccine with you. And I'm just a I remember I'm thinking, what are they going to do with this story joy. afterwards? Is she going to find out? I'm How is she going to react? I thought Joel was just such an awful person oh, and a, an insane person. He, like the it, fact that he, he is and was. He slaughtered all these people. I'll soon be free from early trial. <laughs> He's got a good voice. It, it's both of them. They're I know. Good. They both have good voices, Can but I just really your... appreciate Troy Baker. He. he He's really good at putting emotion I'll behind his voice. This crow. Yeah. Um, but anyway. Oh, self denial. And go see. Is. Did, you, oh, did this change your opinion of him at all? No. You still feel oh, like. Still wrong. And I kind of think that he got what he did. To see him, um, Savior. Okay. I, uh. I'm going there. I mean, I'm not happy that no the character was murdered, but I don't think that he deserved a happy ending by a long shot. Over you know, I I almost defended it um, up until the end of the first game, all of the slaughter that they did, because it was an effort to save humanity. Right, it was getting her back to oh, the fireflies. Who was going to save getting humanity? Her to the but then he finds out that it was going to kill her, and all of that oh, stuff prior didn't matter anymore. And it was I'm like, just a It's Ooh. not the type of game to do a, an epilogue. It might. I don't think so. I think, I think it's think going it's back it. to the title screen. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh, I don't know if I could go through this again. Oh my god. That's a lot. It probably is a bit... What I had to do. It probably is a bit harder, the new game plus. I imagine so. Well, for anybody who sat through the whole story with us and listened to us jabber on like a couple of school gals about it, I appreciate you sticking with us through this journey. Uh, feel free to comment what you thought about the game. You know, um, it was crazy. It was thought-provoking at least. Surely, if you sat through this whole thing, you've got to at least have an opinion about it. Did you hate it? Did you love it? Do you have mixed feelings? Uh, what was your favorite part? Um, I think my favorite part of it was just the insane violence. <laughs> um, That's funny you say that. Well, it was just... And I, when I say that, I mean... I have not played a game that was so visceral. Like, I've played Mortal Kombat, you know? Where they rip people's spines out, take their heads off. Um, but they're not really human. They they're, don't matter. They're, they're not. They're, they're not. Characters. Yeah, they're cartoon characters. It's like this felt like real people in a real insane fictional situation, but it it all felt very grounded, and some of the people felt like you know, uh, what's the word, grunts. You know, who were just showing up looking for me, and I, I'd kill one and then go to the but next. But they would give didn't... you a bit more personality than past grunts. You yeah, know, sure. Now that they call out for their Todd! fallen allies, <laughs> that they Sarah. Oh God, my dog! You yeah. Know, like, oh that... man, killing the dogs—that was intense. The whole thing was intense. The game itself is intense. It's yeah. Just a... 
it's an, I think that's the word for it. Pretty good though. I was it was gripping. It was I would uh, give it a nine out of ten. You yeah. said eight. I, I I would say nine. I think that's okay. The the thing I I I find um That's fair. It's up there. I don't know if I'd change mine. I might. I still feel like an eight. Think, After all said and done, the only thing I didn't like, that I still don't like, is opening a drawer that doesn't have anything in it. <laughs> that least favorite part of the game. It's so annoying. Yeah, that's I'm like, fair. There's I mean, already not, so much in it. You don't need to I, fill it with this. Right. Like, I look. I'm not looking for realism here. I'm looking for the experience. Right. You don't have to show me that. Like you sometimes when you open drawers, stuff. there'll be yeah, cool yeah. with that. Sometimes you open a drawer, there wouldn't be something there realistically. But like, I don't need that. That's okay. I don't need all of that. Like, um, the combat was really well done. It was like a good level, a, a good mixture of sneaking and action. Um, required skill. It was hard enough that I died enough times, but not so hard that you know there were parts that were frustrating. But it wasn't like that final fight with the guy in the restaurant that's on fire in the first one. Oh, uh, it never got. I don't. I don't think it so ever got to that. There level. was a part, right? We're not crazy that when you're playing as Abby, you go through that restaurant. It's just. It's a very similar restaurant. It was, it's probably a chain restaurant. It was exactly the same. It's very similar. It's like I a, mean, you know, restaurants aren't that aren't I that know, different. But I was just. <clears throat> it was a bit weird too. I, I when I saw that door I was like I'm getting the fuck out of here mm-hmm. I don't need to deal with this yeah this is traumatic that's but um what a fun thing to do though yeah it was even with beast mode Abby like it I still was I an uncomfortable area to be in right because you don't know where he is you're like crawling around he could show up behind you at any time with I, a shotgun I'm so sad for Abby I'm glad that she didn't die actually she tried to do the right thing by the end of it. She she started to try to do the right thing. And I, I think that started for her after almost being hanged. Yeah. And having her life saved by somebody else. Especially someone that used to be her enemy. Right. It made her think of them differently. That was interesting to watch that journey. I guess if I, it's hard to pick a singular moment that I think is the best part of the game. Um, but... Overall, what was most interesting to me was the character development, but also the exposure to the character and and them really taking their time <clears throat> to develop the character and show you what they were like, what their motivations were, how they thought about everything in this world. And you could see why. You could see their perspective very easily. And then seeing that shift... And so much about this game was about perspective. In my opinion, the best part was Abby versus Ellie, with Abby having no supplies. Oh, that, <laughs> and Ellie being decked out with everything. Just that whole scene. Like, I think we were waiting for it. Like, uh, you see it from Ellie's point of view first. Mm-hmm. She comes in. Jesse gets shot, and then Abby is in control of the situation, and you're like, oh gosh, what's going to happen? And then it cuts away, and you're suddenly back four years prior in Abby's past. And you're just like, this isn't what I care about. Don't right. do this. Don't, don't do this. Yeah, I don't care about this at all. And then like it forces you to do that if you want to know what happened earlier, and it brings you back to that point. And by that point, you have more perspective on the oh, whole so situation. Oh, so much more. You know about what happened to Yara. You know about Lev. You know about her feelings with Owen and Mel. And, you know, just everything about her relationship with the wolves and how that changed, you know? Yeah. She had gotten out of that island just before coming there. <sighs> Abby has been through so much. And I don't foresee her life getting much better whenever she takes that boat to wherever she ends up. No, there's no way. I don't think... And also, I don't see how you trust any group or anything at that point. I feel like you probably just try and go be on your own. But even then, that's not safe. It's not a very good survival tactic. 
really the best situation she had was with the wolves, but because they were at war with these other people, mm -hmm. it wasn't the best situation. And it ended pretty poorly for her and the people she cared about. Okay, nine out of 10. Like the more I think about it, it this has been a long journey and it was very well crafted just because I, I wanted this, you know, happy ending and this, like, I wanted Ellie to be the type of person I thought she should be. Doesn't mean it was any less of a story or an experience. Right. And it was impressive. So bravo, naughty dog. Please keep making games. They really should make another one. It's, I don't know if they need to make one surrounded by this story, but I would be interested in to world. see more about this world. Yeah. I don't know who you make it about because I feel like most people are going to want it to be connected I, to some of the characters. I involved. would be okay with it taking place in a different country. Just a totally different Just, situation. Yeah. Like, that's uh, fair. For, for, have it in whatever language it is for the audience that is getting the copy. Right. But, um, but have it take place in a different place. Maybe Ellie's not the only immune person. That's an interesting concept. And it would be nice to like, if you heard about her, like you just hear something about her story from somewhere else. It's like, oh, they found some girl in the North America continent that, you know. If I was in this world and that rumor reached me, I'd be like, sure. Yeah, okay. I'd be it like, sounds fake. Yeah, okay, great. Um, Seven billion people and, and one person's immune in America. Okay. And not only that, but seven billion people, or all of these people will get killed and there just happens to be, I don't know, I'm not. Yeah, So it, it'd be hard to buy if, that. If you're thinking about it that, that intensely, I, I, I think it was a really well-made game. Yeah, well... I think we're going to sign off on that point. Um, thanks for watching, and stay safe out there. Don't get infected. <laughs> Don't get infected.